Chandler is the daughter of the Wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Belfort, and model Nadine Caridi. She is a mental health counselor. The popularity of Chandler can be accredited to her father's life. The life story of her father was a hit in Hollywood. The Wolf of Wall Street, a memoir, and a movie successfully covered the events of Jordan Belfort's life. The film gave an inside glimpse of some parts of Chandler's life as well. Based on the movie and our research, we have brought some exciting information. Chandler Belfort, born on July 29, 1994, is the daughter of Jordan Belfort and Nadine Caridi. Her father is an American author, motivational speaker, and former stockbroker. On the other hand, her mother is a licensed marriage and family therapist at present. She was a model before tying the knot with Chandler's father. Chandler practices mental health counseling in New York. Her personal life is as healthy as one would expect. Chandler Belfort is the eldest daughter of her parents. She has a younger brother, Carter Belfort. Carter Belfort is a year younger than her. He is an aspiring rapper and goes by the name, The Drunken Poet. Unlike Chandler, Carter has appeared in Jordan's podcasts. Apart from Carter, Chandler also shares her childhood memories with three other sisters, Frankie Macaluso, Nikki Macaluso, and Ali Macaluso. The Macaluso sisters are the kids of their stepfather, John Macaluso, who plays a significant role in Chandler's life. As per the facts shown and stated in The Wolf of Wall Street, Chandler had a traumatic childhood. Understandably, a child is likely to undergo a lot of trauma in a household if any of the parents were to be a drug addict and abusive. Chandler was around four to five years old when she saw her parents arguing over petty things. A life so lavish from outside could not give emotional security to a child. A small yet crucial part of her childhood comprised the toxic relationship of her parents. This part of Chandler's life was also depicted in the movie the Wolf of Wall Street. According to the movie, one night, after a terrible fight between Chandler's parents, her mother warned her father about leaving him and taking the children away. It provoked Jordan, and he ended up taking her in the car. Since her father drove under the influence of angst and drugs, he crashed the car. It was, by far, the most disturbing scene in the movie. We could imagine how hard it must have been for Chandler to go through the phase. On a positive note, Chandler was lucky enough to experience a normal childhood after her parents' divorce. She lived an ordinary yet married life with her mother, shared childhood with her brother and stepsisters. Chandler did her schooling at Vistamar School from 2008 to 2012. She has successfully pursued a career that helps people who need mental therapy. Chandler's parents met at a friend's party. Both of them were with someone else when they met each other. While Jordan was still married to his first wife, Denise Lombardo, her mother, Nadine, was dating Alan Wilzig. It was Nadine's ex-boyfriend who introduced them. The ex-couple tied the knot in 1991. For the first few years, everything was picture perfect. They built a family, one can only wish two children, an attractive fortune, and growing fame. Chandler's father was a drug addict and an alcoholic. Time and again, he would abuse her mother. The problems like infidelity, addiction, abuse, and a few others resulted in countless fights and disputes with Nadine Caridi. The marriage was heading for failure. Jordan and Nadine legally divorced in 2005. However, their relationship was going downhill long before their divorce. Their divorce was one of the most famous divorces. Allegations were an unforgettable part of it. Chandler's father showed his angst against her mother, and her mother did the same. Chandler's mother is married to John Macaluso since 2011. Jordan Belfort married and cop in 2008. Chandler and her brother, Carter, still share a great relationship with their father, despite the differences in the past. Jordan Belfort, also known as the Wolf of Wall Street, is an author, a motivational speaker, as well as a former stockbroker. 
He shot to fame for all the wrong things he did as a stockbroker. Jordan wrote books such as The Wolf of Wall Street, 2007, and Catching the Wolf of Wall Street, 2009. The initial publication was adapted for the movie in which Leonardo DiCaprio played the role of Jordan. At present, Jordan is also a motivational speaker. He still gets into controversies. But over the years, things have changed for good. Knowing that Chandler is a private person, we can imagine that she loves her space. The July-born American woman is career-driven. She is a mental health counselor. The job she has taken speaks a lot about the importance of mental health in her life. As a person who had a traumatic childhood, she helps others to overcome psychological issues. As her mother, Nadine, says, Chandler is honest, compassionate, intelligent, and a goddess. She is always smiling, and positive vibes flow around her. Chandler Belfort has found love in her fiancé, Connor. Unlike her parents, she did not rush into marrying. Chandler met Connor on the East Coast while she was away from her family in 2012. Their love grew, and finally, in December 2019, they decided to take their relationship to the next level. Chandler and Connor got engaged in December 2019. The look of Chandler's face in the picture showing off her ring showed her happiness. Her mother congratulated her daughter and to be son-in-law through her social media. When the whole world is suffering the chaotic terror of COVID-19, Chandler and her fiancé, Connor faced it closely. Both of them turned out to be COVID-19 positive. Nadine Karidi, the mother of Chandler Belfort, let this news out through an Instagram post on March 13, 2020. Chandler, Connor, and her mother were still asking people to think positive and get help whenever needed. Perks of being mental health experts. After completing high school in 2012, Chandler did not waste any more time and went on to follow the path of her dreams. She enrolled at Muhlenberg College in Allentown, Pennsylvania, in 2012. She chose to study Bachelor of Arts, BA Psychology and Spanish Language Literature and Culture. Three years at the college and Chandler had already started learning about helping people with mental health issues. She worked remarkably well as a workshop facilitator at One Love Foundation of her college. Her role at that time was to increase awareness about violence in relationships and help people to know about the ways for safely addressing the relationship problems. She worked there until she graduated in 2016. In 2017, Chandler joined the Steinhardt School of Culture, Education, and Human Development at the New York University. She completed her master's degree, Mental Health Counseling a Counselor in 2019. While she was doing her master's degree, she worked as a mental health counseling intern at Berkeley College. Finally, after graduating in 2019, she became a licensed mental health counselor. She has been a private practitioner since July 2019. Her specialties are anxiety, depression, and relationship issues. Adolescents and adults are her general clients. She charges from $100 to $150 per session. Chandler has just started her professional ventures. At the moment, she is not a very popular mental health counselor, but certainly is on the right track. Her net worth details are under review. But, being the daughter of a millionaire, she is an heiress to a million dollar worth empire. Her father has an estimated net worth of $100 million. Similarly, her mother has an estimated net worth of around $2 million. Chandler could have a life filled with controversies and immense attention. Her mother acted smart and did not let the media and public eye invade the privacy of her children. Chandler is exceptionally fond of her privacy. Even at this age of social media, she keeps it minimal. She is on Instagram, but with a private account. Moreover, not even her parents include Chandler in their individual social media posts usually.